Welcome to Wager Talk TV. I am Kelly Stewart with Marco D'Angelo and Yanni, the Greek gambler. All right, guys. I know we just got done with bet on it, and this is Marco's best bet. So I'm going to let VR have the floor here. The Indianapolis Colts, just two and a half point favorites at the Chicago Bears. VR, your thoughts on this game? Yeah, and I know Marco has a, a stronger opinion on the side. So I'll look at the total. Uh, I like the under in this game, Kelly, and here's why. Um, number one, we are going to see a regression towards the unders. That's a certainty uh, because of so many overs we've seen the first few weeks. And I've mentioned it before. The NFL betting market's one of, if not the most efficient we have. Um, look over the last 5,000 bets. You're going to get pretty close 2,500 favorite. 2,500 dogs, look over the last 5,000 totals, you're going to get close to 2,500 overs, 2,500 unders, add in the juice, and you're not going to turn a profit blindly betting either. That's how efficient it is. Um, because of that, as the books start to put higher totals, obviously these games will start going under. And we sold the openers for week four, nine of the lined games had totals above 51. Go back three or four seasons and see how many weeks did nine games have a total of over 49, let alone 51. Um, so that is going to happen. But even in those games in the 40s should be lower, some of them, than they are. And this is one of them that they open too high. You're talking about two of the best defenses in all of football. In fact, Indianapolis is number one right now, analytics-wise, in DVOA. Bears, top five. These are two very good defenses. Um, and even though Indy looked like they put up a lot of points the last two weeks, it was against teams without defenses. New York Jets, Minnesota Vikings, not difficult to score on those. It's not going to be as easy to score against the Chicago Bears. On the flip side, same thing with the Bears, um, playing the Giants, playing Atlanta. Um, this will be a much different defense they run into. I like the under. It's moved a little bit from the opener of 45 but there's still 44s out there. I like under 44. I can't see this one cracking 40. This looks like one of those games they should have opened 41. It would have got steamed down to 40 or 39 and a half by kickoff. Public would have went over. Sharps would have went under. But they opened it too high. I'm interested to see what the public does, but I know the Sharps are going under. VR, the public's just going to blindly bet overs until they're blue in the face. and or You're probably you know, right. They go... Or, or, they, or they go one and six to start the morning game, something like that. Marco, your thoughts, uh, to quote you on bet on it, Chicago is faker than a $3 bill. Yeah, I stole my buddy Johnny's line there. They are. And you look at the three wins that they have. They came from behind in week one against the Detroit Lions. The Lions were burying them. Where was that defense in the Lions game? Uh, Stafford went up and down the field, and then you know, they were gashing him on the ground. Uh, Adrian Peterson had a good game. You know, they took him off the you know trash heap from Washington, and uh, he had a big game for the Lions in the opener. I can't back them here. Uh, the only reason they were able to win the game against Detroit is they lost three people in the secondary in that week for the Lions for the collapse. Then in week two, they were life and death against the New York football Giants. We saw what happened to the Giants last week. They got railroaded by the 49ers, even with all those injuries. And then last week, Kelly, Atlanta Falcons. What can you say about this team? They've got a horrible defense. We've seen that. All three weeks, everybody's gone up and down the field on him. But Mitchell Trubisky couldn't even move the football against the Atlanta Falcons defense. So what happened? Everybody in Chicago, they start cheering. They finally get Trubisky benched. They bring in Nick Foles. He's the savior. What's he do? He takes him up and down the field for a miraculous fourth quarter comeback. Well, as I said, he did it against a bad defense. And to make matters worse, that bad defense – decided to play prevent defense, <laughs> making it even worse. And they were able to come back and get the win. And this is a spot now. Vegas is telling you all you need to know about this game. You've got an undefeated home underdog, okay? It's not like Indianapolis is undefeated. They're 2-1. and one. But the game they lost, they should have won. They outgained their opponent by 200 yards. Don't fall for this one. You know I do things on uh, bet on it where we have trap games and stuff. This could have been the trap game as well as my best bet. Either way, 
Chicago, don't buy it. I am going with Indianapolis and Nick Foles this week. You're going to find out you're going against a real defense. Uh, they have given up in three games so far just 676 yards of total offense. In a year where teams are going up and down the field, Kelly, they have only given up 676 yards. That's one game. That's a game and a half for most teams, the way this season has gone. I'll take Indianapolis. I'll lay the points. All right, I'm with both of you guys. The Colts look like the play, and I'm with VR as well on the under. Make sure you guys head over to our Wager Talk YouTube channel and check out all of our other videos.